Grand afternoon, beautiful Saturday afternoon in the kingdom. And thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to spend with the kings and queens of this kingdom of healthy living and nutrition and so much more. We have an experience for you today that you will not believe. We have some, some of our queens that are gonna present to you and give you some information that hopefully will empower you because we are all about inspiring and empowering across this, this country and globally in what we do in the content that we do provide. My name is Troy Richardson. I am CEO of RCG Richardson Consulting Group, a health and wellness organization Primarily, we focus in on veterans' health, but we work with everybody in the community, with churches across the country, with various programs and platforms, and we just, we pour into everybody because this is what we do, this whole community. We just love people. That is the common thread with all of us, whether it's Black, Hispanic, Asian, white, it doesn't matter. We all come together on one accord, and that is to help people and enrich their lives in a healthy way. So we hope that you get something from this information we're gonna to provide to you. There's a saying that I like to say is that closed mouths don't get fed, but closed minds can't get fed either. So we need you to open up your mind, just let us in, and hopefully something is gonna resonate with you today that you can utilize in your life and share with your loved ones and your community so we can all just make this a, a completely better place. But I wanna introduce my co-host in the kingdom today. She's a young lady who I have the utmost of respect and admiration for because again, she's like-minded, like-hearted and like-spirited like many of us and she pours into others, especially in the Hispanic and Latina community. She's taking care of her people. You know, that's what we do. We love everybody, but we must start with our people. We must take care of our people. So with no further ado, Zuri. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Troy, for the introduction. Um, my name is Zuri, and I am so excited to be here and just sharing. That we have so much to share today. And I specifically, you know, like we said, it's going to be the Black and Hispanic community, but this is for all as well. And I'm going to be coming to you as a woman, as a mom, and just explaining and, you know, expressing my experiences when it comes to nutrition and how the power of nutrition, how much it's changed all of us. So that's where I'm gonna be coming in, playing my part here. And I just, you know, I just want you to soak it in, keep an open mind, and this is what we're here for. Awesome, Thank you, Troy. Awesome, awesome. You said mother, um, woman, you, you, the queen, you can't leave out the queen, first and foremost. And the queen, of course. We are kings and queens. God mm -hmm. made us all with a purpose to live in abundance, right? Our health, our wealth, our mental, our physical, our spiritual, everything God gave us is to do it in an abundant manner. No little trickling in here and there. Everything we do is a, it's about abundance. So first of all, just realize who you are, and then we're going to make you realize that dream of becoming the best you can possibly be. But we have a very special guest on this call today. And again, I, I just love this woman so much from day one, the first conversation we had, I knew she was my sister, me and Mana, and she hasn't done anything to make me think otherwise. Um, she loves people again, she loves everybody, but she is doing so much for the Latino community that I put her up for a presidential award. So hopefully Joe Biden's gonna get to her and let her know that she won that award. So um, again, let me introduce to you guys, Laura Morellis. Laura, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. Do you listen? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I am so thrilled I have the opportunity to connect with you. I wasn't planning on it. I just, it was not something that we prepared. So bear with me. I'm actually hearing that I had a, a get together with a few friends. And so I told them I would get out. I've been away for eight days. I've been traveling throughout the whole nation. And it's been unbelievable just to connect with our people, our Latino people. I was in Puerto Rico. We had three amazing events. And I could just sense the energy and the, and the excitement of people that are together for a mission to, to continue to share the good news of, of healthy living. And it was unbelievable because it was the very first time that they got together after, like after a year and a half. 
So we hug, we laugh, we learn. And it was just, it reminded me the power of being together. And then I flew to Florida and we had three great events, all Latinos, all Spanish, some of them bilingual, but it was just connecting with our community, share, sharing with new people, sharing with guests, and also with our current, our current partners. And it was unbelievable. I left very empowered, very grateful that I've been uh, given this opportunity to connect with so many of you guys and I just want to say, having these kind of get-togethers in a Zoom with these beautiful people, it's the best way for us to learn together and grow. And I think something big is, is really good growing here in, in the U.S. with the Latino community and the African-American community because we are doing something big. And I can see the tip of the iceberg. I guarantee you guys, but I saw last week going places, it really triggered, it really got me excited to see there's a lot of things happening. There's a lot of growth. There's a lot of things that are, we're going to do together. This is just the very beginning. So if we haven't had events with you live, if you haven't invited me to your city, please do. We want to continue to spread the good news, as I said. And also, and also remember, convention is coming in October. We're going to have a session for Latinos. It's going to be something you do what you not want to miss. So thank you so much for inviting me and thank you for, for having me. I know that there's a lot that you guys are going to cover and I can't wait to, to, to hear all that you're going to, that you're going to share today. And remember, I'm here to help. So I send you a big hug. Thank you. Yes. Gracias, mommy. Thank you so much. God bless you. Um, Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> is, is Helena on the call? Helena Mascot, have you joined us yet? Kiana, have you talked to Helena? She was supposed to be joining us. One of her I friends. have not spoken with Helena. I apologize. It's I okay. thought that we were waiting for the pastor. The pastor has successfully joined. Okay. Never, hey, never too late for, for, for the good word. So, Pastor Amethyst, welcome. I'm so happy that you were able to get in. As you know, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and you proved that today. So, please, um, can you bless us with a beautiful prayer um, over the kingdom? Yes, I can. I'm excited to be on, the, on this Zoom call this evening and to meet everyone. I'm excited about what's happening in this season. And just thank you for allowing me to come up and, and do this prayer this evening. Uh, thank you so much, Troy, for uh, the invitation to come. And, and God is really doing a mighty thing in this week. So let us bow. Dear Heavenly Father, um, at this hour, we pray, God, thanking you, God, for just waking us up this morning, closing our right eyes having the activity of our And the Heavenly Father, I ask that you would just come in the midst of God, just let your spirit dwell with us this evening, God. And when I speak of God, God, just let her come forth with clarity, God. And let us receive, God, what she has for us today, what you have ordained for her to give to us today, God. And God, just thank you for what you're doing in this season, that you are making your people aware, God, that we can live long and healthy lives. Because you said in your word, we just need to eat of the fruit of the land. And God, we thank you right now, God, that we can walk in divine health and we can live long and healthy lives through just education. And God, we thank you for this this evening. God, we thank you, God, for everyone that's on this Zoom call. God, we thank you that this will go forth and many people will be healed and delivered and set free of these diseases that have just infiltrated our land right now. God, we just thank you, God, that you're about to heal our land. And we give you honor. We give you glory. We give you praise. And God, we ask that you continue to bless Troy and all in his endeavors and what he has been ordained by you to do. In the powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The kingdom, there's nothing on earth more sacred than the kingdom. And again, I say all those who seek the kingdom, good things are going to come to them. 
So we're getting, we want people to seek the need for good health, good nutrition, good, good healthy habits. And we know from experience, everyone on this call, either personally or, or someone in your life, we know the power of plants. As Dr. Nailani said, plants and possibilities, right? Plants and possibilities, they're, they're, they're limitless when you incorporate whole food plant nutrition into your lifestyle. It really can just, just change what you do, what you feel like, who you are. And when, you're, when your kids are seeing you do these, these good healthy habits, they're going to inherently want to emulate what they see you doing. Especially you're out there like, you know, Marla Hodge, line dancing in 90 degree weather. You know, you, you got that energy level with you. Like the kids are gonna be like, I want some of that. Mm -hmm. But I just want to make sure that you, you know what we're talking about because plants are good for you, right? But not everybody can get the plants. Not everybody can get the freshest produce. Okay, we have food deserts out there that are just um, just taking over America. Too many places don't don't have access to fresh fruits and vegetables. So we're going to talk about what we have, and there there's there's other things out there. Okay, but just make sure you incorporate plants into your diet. Holly Dudley, she's a, a digestive nutritional expert. She says you should have eighty percent. Of, of plants and healthy foods. And, and if we, we know you're gonna deviate, we know you're gonna cheat, make that little, make that 20%. Okay, if you could do 90, if you could do 100, that's great. Mm -hmm. But 20% of the bad stuff, we know you, you might sneak and get the, the, the McDonald's Big Mac or whatever, okay? We, we know that's gonna happen. But if you're doing 80%, you're gonna do real good in changing uh, the outlook, and we're not saying none of the things we're going to talk about is going to cure anything, but we know from science there's over 40 peer medical reviews done on what fruits and vegetables in these little packets. I'm going to show you what they do for the body, scientifically proven. It's in the Bible what fruits and vegetables and water will do for your body. So we're not creating that. By no means. God did all this for us. What we're doing is trying to reinforce the simplicity of fighting disease, right? How many of us have lost people to cancer? I mean, diabetes, kidney disease. Ugh. It's just, and, and, and I'm, not, I'm not naming a lot, but we're first and second across the board in every chronic illness out there, Black and Latinos. First and second. And we all know when we get together, family reunions, barbecues, we know we be eating some food. Not me, not anymore. But we know what goes on, right? We know that's going to happen. So we try to educate people, the red meat, the pork. We know you're going to do it. Maybe have one rib. One rib. Chris Rock said one rib, right? For all those y'all know. One rib. Try one rib instead of a, a, a rack of ribs. You know what I mean? Um, try a beautiful, delicious turkey burger. I make the best turkey burger ever. I'm trying to tell you now. It's sauteed with all these vegetables. Oh, my God. Um, but I want to show you a few of the items that you can get from any one of us on this call. And we, we live this. It's in our lifestyle. This is what we do. But this right here is a complete shake. It's Dutch chocolate. Everything I'm showing you is plant-based. And if you flip on the back of any of them, they have food labels. Now, you, I dare you to go into any grocery store, pick up a multivitamin or Flintstones, and look on the back and tell me if it has a food label. If it does, send it to me, and I'll send you $50, okay? And I will, too. But I know you won't. This right here is the complete bar. So maybe you're on the go. Some of the teachers in my local district here, they love these because it's eliminating the snack machine, right? That's filled with all these cookies and chips. Unbelievable what they're doing to not only the students in our schools, but the staff. 
providing this junk for them. This right here is our vegetables. These are gummies, 11 vegetables in this pack that the kids are going to get. And Zuri's gonna tell you about that from the mother's point of view, what the program we have for that. Right here, the red pack, they make it easy. Color coordinated for people like me. Red means fruit, right? 11 fruits in here. So every child is getting 22 fruits and vegetables every day. And then we have omegas. We have a few other products also. But guys, this is the lifestyle that we are promoting. Because again, we know if you give this a try, the, the, the reward is going to be so substantial. It's just going to change your life. So Zuri, my mommy, <laughs> my, my just queen, the nurturer, let's talk to them a little bit from the mother's point of view of how this can impact the children out there. Okay. So for me, this has been a complete game changer when it comes to my daughter. I would say, honestly, let's just start with no sick days. My daughter has been the last three years, perfect attendance, even with the pandemic. She was going to school virtually, doesn't matter. Perfect attendance. Okay. That's number one. Um, one time we had a, we were in her school, you know, I brought some carrot sticks. I brought some celery, you know, different fruits, different things. My daughter was the only one eating these things. They were like, your daughter really eats that? <laughs> I was like, yeah. Like, I remember this, she was like in second grade when this happened. And they were like, oh my gosh, like, how do you get her to eat it? I was like, listen, she's just been doing it. And then that's when I come into place and I share it. And people think my daughter, wherever we go out, she only asks for water and we go to a restaurant. She'll be like, just water, please, you know? And they just look at her like, really? You don't want soda? You don't want juice? But it's honestly, it's just what you put into your body and what you're going to ask for. So she's been on Juice Plus for, you know, quite a few years now. Um, and the good thing about it is because I get my own supply, she gets hers for free. So it's a, it's, you know, why not? That's how I started. I was like, all right, I know I'm not before I wasn't like the healthiest person. And I just wanted to introduce our body. So she's been on it for so long, for quite a few years now. So she just makes the correct choices when it comes to food. You see her, we'll go to rest to out supermarket. She's picking out kale. She's picking out cucumbers, you know, and we grow and she helps us grow our own tower garden. Well, my tower garden is in my parents' house now. I've just moved. So everything's um, it's still not here and things like that. But you have to see her and explaining it. And she, you know, she's done calls on other people's calls. And she's just so excited about sharing the power of nutrition. So this for us has been, not just with my daughter, I've seen changes. Like I said, she does not get sick, you know, praise God. I don't, you know, I can't, she just doesn't get sick on me. It's just, you know, we have like no sick days. So, and just getting this into her system on every day. And the way I see it is the more, because she has the gummies and she's been doing the gummies, she's upgraded them now to the capsules because she could take capsules just because, you know, she prefers them and she does more of the gummies as a more of a Um but it's just so powerful. Like I'm so, we're so grateful that we found another way because the juice plus has so much in it that we don't have it on an everyday basis. You know, what you see on the back of the label. And like you said, Troy, it's a nutrition label. It's food. You know exactly what's on the label. That's exactly what you're putting into your system. And it's, it's, it's been a game changer for us, at least with my daughter, when it comes to my family, I would say the power of nutrition and, you know, I will never, ever stop taking it. I will never, ever stop sharing this product, no matter what, because it has done wonders first. God, I have to thank God for introducing, because, you know, nothing happens by coincidence. Okay. Nothing. And, um, I can tell you on a point of view of my aunt, I'll explain a little bit of her. Um, she was very unhealthy she was a smoker, you know, she used to drink and different things like that. Um, she became very, very sick one time out of nowhere. She, you know, we used to always be like, oh, but take the juice plus. And she was like, ah, you know, I don't, I don't need it. I don't, you know, I don't this, I don't that. I'm like, okay, but at least eat more fruits, eat more vegetables. Like just, you know, you're not doing, you're not having the healthiest lifestyle. So let's introduce your body to more things. Come on, let's just, just eat some vegetables. Like for once, you know? So anyways, Long story short, she became very, very sick one time. 
had a, unexpectedly, she had a heart attack. Okay. She was 52 years old, had a heart attack. Um, while she had the heart attack, she then became very, when she was in the hospital, she had a heart attack. A few days later, had a stroke. Um, they actually had to operate on her. She did not wake up from operation. She had to open all of her, all of her arteries were clogged. I mean, her heart valves, I think it was, or it was clogged. So she had to have surgery. She didn't wake up from surgery. Then the stroke happened. And it's just like a consequence of all these ailments that she had, um, and not having the proper nutrition. Okay. So long story short, we were in the hospital about a month and we were fighting because I know she couldn't have she couldn't swallow so she had a feeding tube and I know they were giving her like all these like I don't know like insure and different things and I was like oh my gosh we just me and my mom and my family were like we need to put nutrition in her body like this is all I knew and this is this is our main focus we were speaking with the hospitals and the hospitals are like oh no because this I was like listen we know that she needs nutrition so we brought up the peer-reviewed so juice plus is peer-reviewed and you know it's scientifically proven okay so we came in we brought them the proofs the doctor reviewed it and he said yes okay and she got her first dose through a um feeding tube they mixed it whatever they did they put it in the feeding tube and they gave it to her honest to god that was when she first woke up we were like all like oh, oh my god oh my god so you know that was that that was three years ago um, now you have to see her. She looked, even though a, a lot of things happened, she had, you know, it was catastrophic. She had amputation on her leg, um, you know, fingers, different things, but she's living life and she looks healthier than she's ever been. And there's not a day that goes by that she does not take it. So when I tell you, I will never stop sharing. That is why. So, you know, and there's other, other stuff too, that I'm a, I'm a girl dad. And I'll share that on another day because I said I was going to focus more on women and the children, but I'm going to leave the, the men portion to Troy. But later on, on another day, another call, we'll discuss a little bit more when it comes to it. So wow. just wanted to share we, that. We, we want to leave them something for next month. <laughs> exactly. Fourth Saturday of every month, 2 p.m. Eastern mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. um, the late, great Coretta Scott King, who I just... Um, I just thank God for letting me spend moments with her. Um, and she was gracious enough to, to, to tell me I could call her Mama King um, and take a picture with her. But we, we one, one day years ago, um, when her son Martin was being inaugurated as the president of the SCLC, it was a three day long weekend and I had the pleasure of um, being a part of that crew, thanks to my aunt and my cousin, who was uh, a lawyer for the SCLC. And um, so I got to spend three days with, with, with not only her, but a bunch of people, Dick Gregory, um, the, the first black surgeon general, uh, David Satcher, um, a, a bunch of people that I got to just lock arms with and learn so much that I'll never forget. But there was one day at the very end that she was sitting alone and you know me, anybody knows me, <laughs> my God, I'm too bold, man. I just walked up and I said, how you doing mama King? Do you, do you need anything? Uh, then she's like, no, I'm good. I said, can I sit down here for you a second? She said, yeah, come on, son, come on, son. So I just started asking her. I was like, the first question I said, well, how, how did you do it? I mean, you're the first lady of the civil rights movement. How did you do it? And she just said that, you know, we had no choice. I didn't have any choice. I stood side by side with my husband and I knew that I was representing women and mothers all across the world. And to just look into her eyes, you could literally see Dr. King through her eyes. It was like such a moment that this energy that came across was like unbelievable. Um, but she said, and this is one of her quotes, if you look it up, she said, if you want to change the soul of a nation, then you have to become that soul, right? And she was really talking to women, but that, that, that really fits us all. <clears throat> we all want to change the soul of this nation when it comes to health and nutrition. So the only way we can literally do that 
is to become that soul. We're living it every day. We're letting people feel our commitment through our soul and our spirituality and our belief and our dedication to this cause that we want to save and impact people's lives. We're tired of uh, people going home early in their 30s and their 40s when they should be living well into their 70s and 80s. We're tired of it. I know I personally am. This is my mission. I've accepted this as my purpose. But I want to, um, I know we had Helena on, but we have so many people on this call that have something to add. I just want to ask someone to talk about the healthy recipes, how we make food fun, right? People think that when you eat healthy, it's got to be the worst thing in your life. But it's the exact opposite when you know what to do, right? When you know how to cook healthy food, you can really make it fun. So there's so many people on here. I wish Vicha was on here, my God, <coughs> she's so beautiful. Um, but I'm gonna call on Kiana Alexander, AKA Kiwi Fruit. I hope you don't mind Kiwi. But um, another, another giver, the host of Mother Nurture, um, Kiana, can you talk about, I know you and your mom recently talked about some recipes. Can you talk a little bit about the food that we do in this healthy living mission? Oh my goodness. So the food is phenomenal. I'm definitely honored to talk to you about some of it. I used to feel like I was eating based on what I was craving and I wasn't necessarily fueling for life. I was just grabbing things. There's a big misconception that when you're eating well, that you're compromising flavor. And it's quite the contrary. When you start to eat green and go clean, you actually get a lot of really simple ingredients where the flavor just pops. And we like to do something that we call layering. It's a game where you get as much fresh food into one dish as possible. So along with this company, because they're just so generous, they're always giving from the heart. This community, we offer a ton of downloadable cookbooks that actually come complimentary once you agree to participate in any of the phenomenal programs you heard about this evening. We'll be happy to share them with you. It's a part of our healthy living revolution. But in here, they have different things where you can use the complete shake that Troy was sharing with you, the plant-based protein. So you can make energy bites, usually really simple, like it adds a nut butter, maybe honey, oats, and different kinds of dried fruit or nuts, different things to help you with high fiber, low calorie, low sugar, with a lot of energy and protein in them. They even have pancakes, uh, cause we have a sweet tooth in our family. So we had to find healthful ways to get alternatives and those good things in our bodies. They do, um, something called salad in a jar where you can layer fresh, simple ingredients so that you can take meals on the go with you. Uh, they even have different wraps. They have things where you can make breakfast casseroles. You can just anything you can think of. There's definitely an alternative for it. Like Troy said, using ground Turkey or black bean burgers or just all sorts of fun things. They even added because they're always innovating and just really thinking about us and keeping up with the times. So they recently added a crock pot book for a slow cooker and people that lead really active lifestyles. And we found that in order to be consistent, meal prepping and keeping it simple is the best way to go. So like Troy said, all of us have a ton of great ideas we can share with you. Sharing is absolutely caring in our community. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. We provide everything for you. Whereas other, um, other places, you may purchase the program and then still have to purchase the products. You receive your scientifically proven to get results products, tried and true products, and you get the programs and the cookbooks recipes, resources, complimentary. So I'd love to share. Thanks always for calling on me, Troy. Thank you for always being there, number one, number one. But again, today, again, this kingdom, it's comprised of, of many kings and queens. And um, I would be remiss, again, if I didn't take advantage, full advantage and, and present this kingdom for what it is. There are so many people who just love on others unconditionally. A lot of times asking for nothing. I mean, I do ask for food, but that's just me, okay? But I wanna 
get a couple of um, a couple of people on this call who are always supporting, and I do my best to support them. Um, but first, I want to start with uh, Marla Hodge, and I want Marla to talk a little bit about the Tower Garden, and then let the people know what she is a part of, along with the Hicks sisters, every Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Marla? Yeah, Troy, I'm right here. Um, I'm actually in the store shopping, so I'll give you the quick version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mama's birthday is tomorrow. She'll be 89. And Happy birthday. Because she has been on Juice Plus as long as I have been. And um, I got my Tower Garden um, four and a half years ago. And my mother and I have been eating off of that Tower Garden. So for us, it has been a pleasure to grow on the Tower Garden, growing most of the fruits and vegetables that we eat in our family. Um, uh, my grandniece is also in the house with us, and she, by no means, takes over the Tower Garden. She comes down in the middle of the clock, in the middle of the night, um, when she's hungry, and just grabs a bowl. And I have never seen a kid that used to be a McDonald's kid come down in the middle of the night and and um, actually grab fruits and vegetables at one or two o'clock in the morning. So having a child garden has been so fabulous for, for our family. And, it, and I guess I have to attest it to my team, um, the Hicks Sisters team that I'm on, because we have introduced, we have introduced um, child gardens to the kids through Green Life Kids. And we have been doing it for so long that the kids, this, this my grand, my grandniece and my mother and everybody have just adapted themselves to basically eating off the flower garden. It's like our Uber Eats. So we really enjoy the flower garden and we have a call every Saturday night at eight o'clock and we have one tonight. So feel free, please jump on. Yes. Have we, a fabulous day and look, grab your tower garden because right now it is the growing thing. Okay. Every home should have it. It's like a TV. Get one and watch it grow. Hey, Marla, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we all will be sharing that call tonight through our various outlets. Um, I know I've already begun to do that. And I want to bring in. Um, my sister, she lives like five, mil five miles from me. And um, again, a lot of admiration for her. We've done events together. We've really grown together. Um, and Nettie, maybe you have a picture of your tower. Um, but if you could tell us a little bit about your show, us your tower, and tell us a little bit about your event, which I love, uh, which is called Self Care Is Not Selfish. Okay, oh. I had not. Um, what I think I was going to do this today, but it's what um, I do, it's what I do. <laughs> I'll show my towers. Um, this is one of my towers. It needs to be cleaned off or whatever. My granddaughters really love dino kale, so I have a lot of dino kale on this. They they like what Marla says. They just like the only salad. They said this is the best salad ever. They don't get any salads from from many restaurants and stuff anymore because they say it doesn't taste the same. And I grow a lot of mint with the mint. Um, I've learned how, I've done, uh, I do mint water with lemonade. I've done mint oils, um, cause it helps with uh, headaches and you know, you can put on your body and just different things. So I made some mint oil before and um, I did something else with mint, but I love the mint and, and I wanna get another type of garden where, um, I just do all herbs. And this is celery. If you are familiar with the celery, it grows in abundance. Um, have a lot of vital minerals and vitamins and sage down here. I got actually got this green onion from the store and I just stuck it in my tower garden. Um, and on this side, I have two tower gardens. And I have a lot of collard greens because we love collards. So I realized if you know how, if you cook collards, you need a lot of them. So I have collards on here and red cabbage. And I actually mix a lot of the greens together. And um, Malabar spinach was, was 
new to me. I just saw it on one of the, um, cause I usually order from these ATL um, uh, Urban Gardens. And um, I saw that and I said, I'm gonna try it. And it, 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 it wraps around and I have tomatoes on here and peppers and I just love my towel. I love, love, love. And I um, have uh, basil growing and Swiss chard on the other side. But yeah, I got into the, the towers. Well, I've probably had them for about three and a half years now. Um, when I first got started with Beverly Grandison, she's my upline. But anyway, we have this show, this um, call that we do. We usually do it on the fourth Saturday, but we did it last week. And we started out because I saw something in somewhere talking about self-care. Oh, that would be good. We can do stuff on self-care. And with that, we said we want to incorporate um, with the mind, the body, and the spirit. So my niece, who's also a partner, is a holistic meditation coach, as with a lot of other things that she does. And um, she does great meditation. So we incorporate that. And the nutrition um, feature usually does some type of recipe or something. And we said, you have to have exercise. The body has to move. A lot of us, that's the, I mean, movement heals a lot. If people don't understand. You stand still, your body gets sedentary and you just start breaking down. So it is important, even if you're sitting in a chair, you can move, move your arms, move your legs, but it is vital that we move. So we incorporate all of that um, with self-care. So we totally did self-care for six months. Now we're incorporating finances, nutrition, and self-care. Because a lot of times if our finances aren't right, then that's a breakdown. Right. And plus, but with the food, we talk about the towel garden and the savings. We didn't know, like I said, I have kale on my, my garden. You can get a bag of kale chips. You know, you might spend about what? Two, three, four dollars for a bag. Of, and, and it's about this much kale in. It, right. This kale has been growing for months. So I can get this kale, make me some chips, put them in the, in the oven. Boom over and over and over again you're saving money so for the next till december we'll be talking about nutrition and finances and food and um about growing your own but we're going to always do a meditation at the end of each call because we need breathing also heals the body some of us don't even know how to breathe but some of us don't even know how to stop some of us don't even know how to love ourselves, you know, and I know the pastor can attest to a lot of this, um, but that's it. Thanks, Troy. Okay. Thank you, Nettie. Um, pastor Amethyst, I, I believe you want to say a few words. Yes, uh, I am just overwhelmed because about 16, 17 years ago, my husband and I were introduced to Juice Plus. And we took Juice Plus for years. My daughter, when she was pregnant, uh, took Juice Plus. And I mean, it just made a difference in her pregnancy. And so I know it was ordained for me to be on this call today because we <laughs> lost touch with the people that, would, that introduced us to Juice Plus. And Juice Plus is everything that y'all are saying and more. I mean, it is it is food going into your body. I mean, it's it's what we are not getting on an everyday basis. So we took the capsules, we had the shakes, everything that y'all have right now. I know it's more advanced now that, than it was back then, but I am so excited to be on this call because I want some juice plus. Wow. I want some juice plus, and my husband is gonna be so excited when I tell him about it because we took it like every day, religiously, every day we took Juice Plus and you can tell the difference in your body when you take it. It's, it, it is just awesome. So I'm just excited. So when do I get mine? Well, I'm, I'm going to call you as soon as this is over because I, I will not make you wait another minute. <laughs> okay. um, but I think what Ziri is about to say, make sure you're sitting down Pastor, because Zuri's going to talk a little bit. I know she's talked about the Healthy Starts Family program, but she didn't mention how long 
children can get this for for free. Wow. And then Zuri, I know we got what's today the twenty eighth. I think we got three days left for the blitz. Y'all let me know if I'm wrong. That um, you can start your own business. I mean, even the church can can just put this business into the church and and just sort of like a fundraiser. Every time somebody gets Juice Plus, they're making the tithe back to the church. So there's so many options here. But Zuri, um, talk to her a little bit about the length of the Healthy Starts family and the um, the culmination of the Blitz, which has been going on a few months for another few days. Did I lose my queen? I'm sorry, I started to talk and I was on mute. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm here. Okay, so you can get it for four years, okay? four years which is a long time okay so you get it as an adult and then you can you're basically sponsoring a child it doesn't necessarily have to be your own child okay it can be a niece it could be a nephew it could be a grandchild you receive it and then they also get it for free okay which is an amazing like what what company does something like that that's a company you know with the heart like just the fact that they're thinking forward and just involving the children and this is something that you can take from the womb to the tomb okay and it's not harmful and it's just so amazing and for four years to do something like that it's it's, it's beyond me okay and then right now we have it that you can sign up for free, okay? So you avoid the, the annual fee and you can sign up right now. And that's a huge, like, impact and huge positivity that you could do it right now for free. So we have a few more days left of it before the program goes away. So uh, you, you tell me, you tell me that, that God is not always on time. Somebody tell me that. And I'm going, I'm just going to, I'm going to do something out of my character, probably just like get you off the zoom real quick. But this is, this is, this is the power of empowerment and inspiring others. This is, this is what this is all about. Um, who, who would have thought that pastor was taking juice plus 16, 17 years ago, no. right? Oh, no. wow. And, and, and now today I reach out to her to say the prayer, right? At the beginning of the kingdom. I didn't even mention Juice Plus. I didn't mm. even mention it. Sure did. I just asked her, to, could you just bless us? Because she's a praying, oh my God, she's she's phenomenal with, with, with her ministry. And no idea, no clue whatsoever. But this is the anointment that we are all under serving in this mission. This is what is upon us. And some of us, I mean, some of us don't realize what we what we're here doing. To me, I'm serving. I'm not, I'm not, I mean, not I told my NMD this, the national marketing director from day one. I'm not motivated by money. If I'm not helping others, then I don't want nothing to do with it. I don't want nothing to do with it. I'm put, I've always put people first. This is what my mama taught me. This is what I live by. This is what I'm going to die by. I'm not chasing dollars. I'm not chasing titles. I will chase people to make them healthier and live longer and be happy. I will do that. Okay. But God tells you when you serve him by serving others, then he will take care of the rest for you. So I don't worry about that other stuff. Right. Because I know with the abundance, okay, remember that, coming back full circle, he wants us all to live in an abundant manner. So if we serve him the way he wants us to serve him, then that's going to be taken care of. So there's no need for you to chase a title and chase dollars. Just do what you can do. Help. First start with your family, right? Take care of them first. Then reach out to the community, your schools. It might be part of the PTA. You might be a bowling league, the church ministry. Some churches have like 15 various ministries. Reach out and just share the information and serve, serve these words of wisdom, 
the the testimonies, the stories, the videos. The give give somebody you need. Give them a little single pack of a shake. Give them a, a gummy pack, but share it and make sure that they are aware of what is available out there for them. The most selfish thing we could do is not open our mouths and share. And I'm talking to the pastors now. When y'all get this recording, pastors, and you know who I'm talking to, y'all need to step up. You need to step up and take care of your congregation. You need to make these resources available to them. You need to play that role, play your position that God has put you in, right? You're sort of like our law enforcement, serving and protecting. If you really want to take care of your congregation, your members, you will make sure that they get this information that's going to save their lives. And I've talked to a lot of pastors out there, and they'll tell you, as they told me, they can't afford to continue to bury people. They, they, they running out of money. So when I tell them, we got a program that can make your people healthier, they're going to live longer, and you're not going to have to go into the church pockets as much as you've been doing if you just get them this message, right? And it makes sense to a lot of pastors out there. So they do share with their members because they want their members to be healthier, live longer, tithe longer, right? It all makes sense. Let's just all live healthier, prosperous lives and our communities are gonna be so much better, so much better. And the business side, again, you call it the side hustle, whatever you wanna call it, extra income, part-time income, anytime income, whatever you want to call it, label it, it's an opportunity to help people and get rewarded by helping people. It's, it's very simple, guys. Um, there's no limit on to what you want to do, that income elevator. If you want to get off on the first floor, make 100 bucks a month, guess what? You could do that. You want to hit the fifth floor button, make 500 or 5,000? It's up to you. You want to go all the way to the penthouse like Marla Hodge and, and Nettie House and Kiana and all these other folks up there? You know, the sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. Just depends on how many people you want to serve. That's what it comes down to. How many people do you want to serve? And just have fun serving people. Don't really look for the rewards. The rewards are going to come. That's just my personal advice. That's my personal advice. But I'm going to have the queen... Close us out, okay? And she's going to do that in English and Spanish because I'm bilingual, but I'm, I'm limited. Hola. Hola. Que pasa? <laughs> Mami, papi. You know what I'm saying? I'm limited. I know my lane. So, Zuri, my queen, All right. please close thank us you. out and okay. thank everyone so much. Thank you. I, I, just, you. I just wanted to um, just mention one more thing, guys. You got to keep your body healthy now because you don't know what's coming in the future and you want to make sure your temple is prepared to what's for what's to come. Okay. So the time is now. Preparense y a comer saludable. Okay. Thank you guys. So um, can I say one more thing, Zuri? Yeah, sure. Um, about the free for the kids. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. you have kids that are going to college, yes. college, they can also get the product for free. So it says four to 18, but if they're going to college, they can still get the product. Um, Hi, Suri, Troy, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for mentioning that. Yes, yeah, so they're going to college. 26. Thank you, Lynette. That college is up to uh, age 26. So get, get with the person who shared this recording with you, and we're going to make sure that your, your child gets it. And if we got to go to bat for you to make sure your child may be a little older or whatever, we're going to do that. Not going to guarantee it, but we fight for the kids. All right? Mm -hmm. We fight for everybody, but we definitely going to fight for your child. Ages four through undergrad in college, but get with the person who invited you. And we are your advocate, not only for health, but for your kids. Anybody that you want to get healthy, we're here for you. Zuri, prayers go out to your aunt. What an amazing testimony. And I know next month we're going to have mom and dad be a little bit more vocal. Hopefully they'll be back from the Dominican Republic. But looking forward to next month, guys. Again, God bless you all. Thank you. For those who want to stay on a little bit and talk after the recording, 